Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over my three-day pack setup for SHTF scenario, um, Boog scenario, uh, end of time scenario, I don't know, whatever you'd want to categorize it as. This is just your budget type of pack right here. SOG pack, nothing too crazy. Here, opening up at the first section, I got two packages of uh, two packs of socks. Gotta make sure to be able to change your socks in the field. And right here we got ourselves a little rain poncho for the rain. Then right here, we got some extra gloves for myself if they get damaged or for a buddy. Got some leather gloves right here to deal with some more. It can be used for things such as barbed wire. Got myself right here, my schmog. Could drain water through this, or you could also wrap it around yourself to keep you cool in hot weather. Here, got an extra change of bottoms. These are just my uh, woodland bottoms that I had in the Marine Corps. I got a little boonie right there for the sun. That right here. We got some emergency ration, 2,400 calories each. This could last you honestly more than three days. I would say you only need them. Right here, we got my little cold steel knife. This is actually one of the originals. Um, yeah. Right here, got a little hatchet. Now moving on to uh, a little bit of the electronics section. And yeah, just putting that away. Got this, my uh, digital watch. Uh, that's not electronic, but that's just a filtering device for water. Right here, here, got a GPS device, the Garmin. There's no encryption on this, by the way. And then right here, got some iodine pills for water. Right here, got a charging device. Right here, got a little boo boo kit for cuts and scrapes. There's also a little bit of gauze in there. I am gonna spray paint that uh, tan just so it's not bright red in the future. Got an extra cat tourniquet in my pack. Here, got some extra gauze, just at the ready. Right here, got some more charging equipment. This one's a USB-C. Then right here, this little small easy access pouch. Got a Lanzotic compass right here. This one doesn't have actual trinium, like issued ones in the Marine Corps. We got right here, got a little keeper cause I'm dumb and uh, I don't want to lose my stuff. Yeah. Got right here, some uh, food cause I'm a fat body. Right here, we got a multi-tool, really useful. Here, got a sharpening device. Right here, got a flashlight with red or white lens. That's just an extra flashlight. I also have a headlamp on my other kit. Then right here, got some CLP for the boom sticks. Right here, got an eating device, spork, whatever you want to call it. Right here, got a little extra knife. Ooh, swings right open. Right here, got some 550 cord. Next we got up is a 
little mini lighter right here. Just a quick hack to just start a fire quickly. Then we got some more 550 cord and some packaging. And then, oh wow, more 550 cord. Wow, this, I, yeah. Then got some electrical tape right here. I like to crush mine so it's not just this big roll. Then right here, uh, that's just me and uh, my, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got ADHD, sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm definitely with it now. And then right here this is where you can put your maps in just to keep them dry. I haven't put any maps in there yet. I'm going to be looking at ones that actually are most relevant to me in my area pretty soon here. Then right here, we got a fire starter kit just in case your, I don't know, lighter blows up or something on you. Right here, got a little extra light right here. I like to put it inside the pouch just so it's not beaming out by accident and other people could see me. Yeah, I've got this last bit. Got some glow sticks just in case you need it for a rave or something. You know, never know when you're gonna be raving in the apocalypse. And I got some mag pouches right there. Right here, this is just an overall overlook of the setup and the pack. There are some things that I forgot to put in here, but uh, they're just things such as a sleeping system and a cleaning kit. Uh, I'll show that here in a bit.